All right, guys, we're back out here on the 2002 F-150. Since the last video back in March, I replaced the windshield, got new tires, rebuilt the whole front end. Um, as you guys can tell, it's got bigger calipers and rotors because it's got the uh, 2000 uh, Expedition front brakes on this. There's bigger, bigger calipers, bigger rotors, bigger pads, and better stopping power. All right, now let's go talk more about what happened to the front end. So down here, as you guys can see, if you guys can really see that brake line I showed you in the last video where my finger is pointing, I had to replace it again because the black rubber hose I had custom made like I showed you guys, well, up on the driver's side where it goes into the ABS pump or master cylinder, one of the two, can't remember, I think it's the ABS pump, but where it goes up to there, it decided to hit the exhaust manifold while I was driving and melted a hole through it, so I lost all brakes. So this is a steel braided line that up by the exhaust manifold, I wrapped it in heat shield so that it doesn't happen again. And I don't know if you guys can really see that bracket right here, but it's got a steering stabilizer I installed on here. Also, I've replaced the rear diff fluid, diff cover, T-case fluid, transmission fluid, engine oil. All I have left is the front diff and radiator flush and that should be it on fluid and it'll be all brand new I'll show you the diff cover later on in the video all right now let's get on to the interior mods that I did so as you guys can tell we're inside the truck so since the last video I replaced this one with a navigator or expedition headlight switch I think I can't remember what year it came off of or whatever but it's got a new gas pedal from uh, Harley Davidson Still can't find the brake pressure or brake pad one. Had one for the e-brake. It is somewhere down here in the door. Oh, right here. But it keeps falling off. I had to custom make it. It won't. This little tab right here won't stay inside that hole right there. So I don't know what the problem is. But yeah. Also installed the steering wheel tilt knob. Not sure if I showed you that. Not sure if I showed you those. But let's hop in here real quick. So in here I got this. And then, hold on. Got all these Velcro patches I've installed since the last video. Um, pretty sure that's it for the interior. Let me double check. So as you guys can tell, we're on the rear. So since the last video, I've installed new license plate light. And I happened to find some smoked ones on eBay. Which are pretty badass. Um, now let me show you the diff cover like I was talking about before. So there's the diff cover right there. There's a new spare tire hoist as you can tell. Also install new rear shocks, front shocks. But the front shocks need to be upgraded again. Because those are not heavy duty enough. Because of the heavy front bumper. But yeah. I've also installed the roof basket. Also got my recovery tracks up there that I found mounts for. They actually work with this roof rack. Um, on this side, I've ordered high lift jack and shovel mount. They'll clamp onto the side right here. And then for the other side, I'm going to get an awning. And then it's onto building the camping setup in the bed. Can't wait. Let me know down in the comments what else I should do. One last thing before I end this video. So on these F-150s, they have a wireless key fob remote that unlocks the doors. Well... They're going out. They only work half the time. So I had to order new door lock x-rays because that's what I was told went bad. So I ordered those. Then I'm also ordered when you put the tailgate down. And you know how it's got that gap down here between the bed floor and the tailgate? Well, I ordered a gap piece. They'll block that off just waiting for that to come in the mail. And that's it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.